Cover crops are grown between cash crops instead of letting the ground sit fallow. When you are ready to start preparing your ground for your cash crop, there are four primary means to terminate or kill cover crops. They are herbicide, mowing and tilling, roller crimping, and allowing the crop to die naturally. The method that is chosen will depend on if you want to leave the cover crop residue on the soil surface for mulch in order to suppress weeds, or if you want to incorporate the residue for a clean soil surface. In no-till systems, leaving the cover crop on the soil surface is a key method of weed control. This is achieved by either applying a herbicide to the cover crop, using a roller or roller crimper, either alone or in conjunction with a herbicide, or letting the cover crop die down naturally. All of these options create a mat on the soil surface from the killed cover crop biomass. Grasses produce the best weed suppression mat. Timing of these activities is key to achieve a good kill. Most cover crops are more easily killed once they reach the reproductive stage of flowering and thereafter. For example, grasses at early boot stage may require a herbicide combined with a roller crimper in order to effectively terminate them. Whereas during later stages, like early doe stage, a crimper alone may be sufficient. However, different cover crops vary in their ease of kill via herbicide or roller crimper. Some cover crops may be prone to re-sprouting or regrowth if only terminated with a roller crimper. Herbicide termination is most effective during warm weather. In other situations, the cover crop may need to be incorporated into the soil in order to have a clean soil surface. In horticultural systems, strip tillage of the cover crop allows for plastic beds to be laid where the cash crop will be planted, and for the cover crop to remain standing in the row middles to act as a windbreak and to suppress weeds. Tilling in or incorporating the cover crop adds more organic matter directly into the soil, but reduces the physical effect of the cover crop on suppressing weeds in the next season. Soil incorporation of the cover crop should occur at least 10 to 21 days before laying the plastic bed. The cover crop should be mowed and immediately tilled into the soil while still green to speed decomposition and minimize nitrogen losses. The biomass will break down quickly when the soil is warm and moist and more slowly when the soil is cold and dry. Ensuring that the biomass has adequately broken down prior to laying plastic beds in a plastic culture system is key. If the biomass has not adequately broken down, the beds may be uneven or the plastic may be torn by undecomposed cover crop stems. Some cover crops will be killed naturally due to cold or warm temperatures. This is often called winter or summer killing. For example, in the northern range of the Mid-South, mustard is often winter killed, whereas in the South, buckwheat often dies out once hot, dry summer temperatures arrive. Allowing cover crops to die naturally as a means of termination may be hard to coordinate with the establishment and timing needs of subsequent cash crops. If cover crops are prone to set seed and to become weeds later, they should be terminated before seed is set and not allowed to die down naturally.